What was it like when I imagine Sir Alex told you that you weren't going to be part of the squad for the Champions League final? Um, it was the, the worst moment in my life as a footballer. Um, the only moment I cried, so you understand what I'm saying, is like it was how much uh, emotion going through is like you have been given the opportunity to be in that stage yeah. and God have taken it. It's just like, it was absolutely crazy. I couldn't forgive him at, at the moment. I couldn't. Uh, and this is strong because I'm very, uh, in a way, very religious in, in, in some way, but without any uh, ridiculity on, on that thing. It's just like, uh, I couldn't understand because uh, if something like so special for you as a footballer is the Champions League, I would say that a World Cup it is, but uh, based on like a group of international players, you know, you see that France have more chance than maybe Ecuador you know, <laughs> <laughs> or something like this. So I've been lucky, you know, to play alongside Thierry Henry and Zidane and, and go to World Cup. Those guys have done it. But this one, I felt that I participated and uh, I wanted to be part of that final. The manager wanted me in that squad because he thought that I was a um, perfect uh, a tool to destroy uh, a Chelsea. I scored four, 13 goals against them. So it, it would have been a very nice story, I would say. So, but uh, it wasn't to be. So I really, yeah, I remember this as the most uh, painful moment in my career. Yeah. What was it like when the game finished and everyone was celebrating? Because I imagine as a Manchester United player, you're delighted the club has won. Yeah. But is, is it almost, in a way, almost worse for you because you've had to miss out on it? Not worse. No, I, I won't say that because I love my teammates and I respect so much the, the, the club that I uh, always like, make them as a priority. So it doesn't cross my mind this way. But uh, um, I'm... It was very hard to put yourself in it. You know, you don't know where to fit. You know, yeah. uh, you can celebrate as you play or want it. You know, it was a bit hard, but still being part, uh, it was better than not. Um, but in a frustrated, frustrated way, in a way, because you wanted to participate and help the boys. Uh, they have done it without you. It matters to me uh, more on a personal level and say that why? I worked so hard to come back and maybe I would say a few days before the final, I get that little thing that disappeared maybe 10 days after. It was just a joke. Was that part of your decision then to then go on and leave and be yeah, first yes, choice yeah. somewhere? Yeah, and and the manager said that uh, he wanted to have a player who could be uh, reliable in terms of like playing at least uh, 25, 30 games a season. That's it. I mm -hmm. was able to contribute every time, but uh, not regularly and the frustration always come from my injury more than my performances so how frustrated is that uh, I can't recall any player facing this thing you know mm -hmm. I, I always face critics based on my injuries so yeah. it was it was absolutely madness mm -hmm. yeah mm. What was it like when, when, you, when you did leave how did you feel about leaving Manchester United? I think it was uh, fair for both um, so um, had different targets um, uh, I did my thing uh, in United uh, with my honesty, uh, set uh, certain targets. I wanted to win trophy. I wanted to help score goals and help them to, to do that. Um, I wasn't uh, capable enough to provide that guarantee. So yes, I find a really great uh, club uh, yeah, to uh, help me to keep doing what I love and uh, manage to, to do that. Uh, without uh, moving from uh, Aldo Hedge, so <laughs> it was yeah. perfect. Yeah. You didn't have to walk far. Yeah, yeah. it was okay. <laughs> when it came to that move to Manchester, you had to force that a bit, right? Because Fulham didn't want to sell you. Yeah, they, they played it as it's a business world. So some price was agreed and I know about it. And uh, my agent was like saying to me that uh, they want to increase the price, make the most of it. And uh, so I let it go and uh, at some point where you feel like this opportunity will go because it's a, um, it's a January transfer, you see the, 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 the clock ticking and uh, you start to say, no, I think uh, they will take somebody else and uh, I don't want this to happen. So I, uh, I give my word in some ways, they give my word, uh, their words and I say, no, that's not how it works. On my word, uh, if you say something, you, you keep your 
you, you was and uh, I was like uh, really unhappy about the situation. Even if I'm professional, I, I express it. I have the right to, to speak and say, no, I, I want to go. And uh, so I don't know uh, what I think was the right thing uh, because uh, everybody in uh, in this world, you know, if you have a job opportunity somewhere else, you know, and there is no judgment and you, you can go, you know, even competition or whatever. You can. Uh, sports is a bit more difficult. Uh, they use the public to say, oh, yes, you know, and, and all this. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I knew that uh, I've been really honest. I give my all. Uh, prom I help them to promote. Um, so I had no difficulty to actually go where I thought that it was fair. And once it happened, what was it like? walking into the dressing room for the first time and seeing the players that were there and meeting everybody, were you shy about that or were you confident or did you just sort of let everybody get on with themselves and you get on with your own game? Yeah, it was like very comfortable in a way because uh, you know when you feel like you enter a family and people are really excited to mm -hmm. see you there, you know, you say, oh, hang on a minute. So it's like like those stars that you see, like the Paul School, the Ryan Gies, uh, all those players like you could uh, see being star actually been like very natural, very yeah. normal, normal, very, very uh, welcoming and, and making sure that you're all fine with that kind of figure of saying, yeah, hey, listen, you are, you have stepped in now. It's like big, big, big job coming. And that's why I wanted. So I just joined this club for that. You know, I wanted to have a, a challenge. I wanted to, to help. Uh, all those was like the manager was talking to me every day. So challenging me, you need to do this, you need to do that. Uh, you need to express more your quality than your weaknesses. So hang on, I mean, that's me, you know, I was like, this was very natural. The only time that I realized that I need to maybe do more is the second game. When uh, actually I missed two seaters and, and the manager half time just like, just destroy me. Uh, and then I say, hang on, I mean, it's, uh, it's like those setup is just amazing for any competitor because you realize that you have all the, the, the right ingredients to improve. Uh, after, I would say two weeks, I was already another player. So what did mm. he say to you? I said to me, you're not in uh, whatever the club that was before. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> yeah. But to say, yeah, this is Manchester United and those things you should not do. And you have to always uh, try to improve, not being uh, complacent in a way that you accept that you've done something. No, that's not enough. You can score five goals, you score them. This is uh, the, the actual uh, step up as a professional. It yeah. was just now you are a winner. So mm. it's completely different. Did you like that? Because I could see some people's personalities, maybe that would make them worried and anxious and nervous and they might sort of collapse under that kind of pressure. Or did you... No, you it's, like it's not pressure because you... I, I will say that's uh, part of a mentality where you're naive in some ways. You know, I was like very nonchalant and relaxed and I, this is part maybe of wasting this culture. But uh, I say, oh, yes, he's talking to me. He's trying to help me. Yeah. So I take it on the, the positive way. I'm not saying this pressure. I'm saying, whoa, is actually believe that I can do this, I mm -hmm. can do that. So I just work harder and that's it. I don't even think. And when you look back, yeah, after the career, you say, yes, oh, 75,000, you know, oh, you, you, you miss a sitter and then you score on another one. You, you understand those things. But naturally, when you actually playing, you see everything was done for me to actually improve and, and make sure that uh, based on my, on my mentality is actually screen it, screen it understand how it works mm -hmm. and maybe for example that's why i think he was a master uh, i saw like ferguson he could see that darren fresher needed something different maybe when needed something different maybe christian needed something different me he, he knew how to to act with me so mm -hmm. it was just uh, amazing 